There's always a lot of talk about how challenging eating healthy is, how challenging proper nutrition is. It is not fucking complicated. It's not hard. There's no mystery. There's no magic diet or magic plan that will give you the best nutrition possible. There's always gonna be the argument that food is weaker than it ever has been because of farming methods, because of just the soils being depleted so the vegetables aren't as powerful, so you need supplements. The animal products aren't good for you, whether it's grass-fed or not. You should be plant-based, you should be this-based, you should eat fat, you should avoid carbs, you shouldn't eat fat and carbs at the same time. All these things are usually perpetuated by people that love to make things sound complicated in order to sell you a simple solution. I am here to tell you that the solution is simple already. The problem isn't complicated. The problem is basic addiction. It's basic companies making products that will addict you, that will get you to buy them over and over again. When you buy a car, a car company is gonna make a car that will last you X amount of years before you want to upgrade, before you wanna buy a new car. Maybe three years, maybe five years. You know, a car can last you seven, eight, 10 years if you wanna keep it that long and you maintain it properly. When you buy a box of crackers, that box of crackers is going to last you a few days or a couple weeks, depending on when you open it, and it's gonna be gone, and you're gonna buy them again. A bag of chips, maybe a day, and you'll buy another bag. So they're constantly trying to create things that are gonna get you to come back for more. If the car company makes you a really good car, you are likely to go back to the same dealership or the same company and buy another car for a big purchase. When you buy a bag of chips, you want the, the company wants you to buy another bag of chips. So they're gonna make the chips taste really, really good. So the next time you go to the supermarket, which is probably a couple days, you're gonna buy another bag of chips. So they make these foods addictive. They make them addictive. They make them addictive. I'm not addicted to steak. I'm not addicted to bacon. I fucking love those foods. I also love sweet potatoes and vegetables. I love the taste. They give me good energy. They make me feel good, but I'm not addicted to them. If I don't have bacon, I'm not like, oh my God, I didn't have bacon. Well, sometimes I am, but I'm not craving. I want broccoli. Oh, I haven't had broccoli in a day. It's because these foods don't have those addictive properties. They're not chemically enhanced. They are not designed to addict you. They're designed to fuel you. If you look at your food and what you put in your mouth, just like you do with your stock market, just like you do with your, your stock portfolio, with your investments, every time you put something in your mouth, it's an investment in your body. It's a long-term investment. Now, just like the stock market, you can go for short-term, really high risk, or you can go for more stable, long-term investments and everything in between. And most people go for those short-term high risk. They go for that mouth pleasure. They go for McDonald's or Burger King or Taco Bell or candies or ice cream, just things that are going to jack the body up, make you feel good in the short term, but make you feel pretty shitty in the long term, right? It's gonna lead to type two diabetes, heart disease, cancers, all these things that have so many variables that play in. So you can't say this ice cream is gonna cause cancer or drinking that, you know, mocha choca frappa lappuccino is going to give you cancer. You can't say that, but you can also make the argument that having two or three of those a week for 40 fucking years, that might lead to something bad down the road in combination with a lot of other habits. There's so many variables, so you can't point to one thing with nutrition, one thing with training, one thing with genetics. We don't know that yet. We're not there yet. So anyone that makes that argument and says this is a fact, it's not true. We don't have those facts. I believe that what you put in your body is your investment for your long term. How that plays out, we have we don't have the research yet. We just we simply don't. We simply don't with the way people are approaching society mentally with social media, with being sedentary, with air pollution, with the food quality, with exercise habits, with genetics, all those combinations at the cellular level, at the organism level, they're just, there's so many variables. And it's exciting times because we're learning a lot more. And one thing we do know is food quality matters. And I say that because Unfortunately, a lot of people ignore that fact and pretend like food quality doesn't matter. Just like the, if it fits your macro uh, grouping of people. I don't see how food quality is not a factor. 
Quality is always a factor. Whenever you make a purchase, you're always looking at the quality of what you're buying. If you're buying really expensive headphones, you're probably buying something that has a higher level of quality, or so you hope, otherwise you're getting scammed or you're losing your money. We always get excited when we get something for a very inexpensive price and wow, it has great quality, it lasts me so long, or whatever the product is, but quality matters. Same thing with food. And whenever you put something in your mouth, it's like putting money in the bank. It's like putting money in a savings account. It's like putting money, money in a long-term investment, in a Roth IRA, something like that. You're investing your food into your body because you are literally becoming what you're consuming. If you eat food, it's digesting and it's becoming your body. If that's not like reason enough to make better food choices, I don't know what is. But it's literally becoming your body. It's becoming your cells. So when you're looking at food and you go to a supermarket, not all those options are for you. People get paralyzed by all these choices. Oh, there's so many things out there. There's so many choices. So I'm overwhelmed. What do I do? There's so many options. No, there's not. There's a lot of stuff. There are a lot of companies selling things to a lot of different people. You're not everyone's target market. These companies are not trying to sell everything to you you as an individual. They have their target audience. They have the people they're trying to sell to. You just see it all because it's like walking into an Amazon warehouse. Can you imagine? You see every product that Amazon ships out in one place. You walk for fucking miles. You see everything. Oh my God, there's so much. Yeah. But when you go on Amazon, you look for specific things and you boom, you purchase that and it comes and hey, you got your one thing that you were looking for. When you go into the supermarket, it's like, <gasps> there's just so many things. But if you're going into the supermarket with specific things you're going to get, you get those things and you leave. And then the other stuff is just background noise. That's why I'm always pushing meditation so hard because meditation helps you view the entire cloud of noise for what it is. It's just a lot of stuff. You don't need to pay attention to all of it. Not all of that is for you. You gotta stop having such a fucking ego. It's not all about you. And not everything is for you. And a lot of those products shouldn't be for anyone, but that's besides the point. But if you, and you're the one that's watching, if you're trying to get control of your nutrition, if you're trying to get control of your health and you're having problems with that, it's because you are looking at everything all at once and you're allowing yourself to get confused. It's your fault. You're not focusing on the right shit. You're not focusing on finding the foods that work best for your body and then sticking to those foods. There are always gonna be those outliers. You're gonna have the parties you go to, the vacations. You're gonna choose to have a cheat day or a cheat meal if you want to. I'm not judging in this video. I have my opinions on that, but you're gonna do what you're gonna do. But overwhelmingly, you need to be focusing on the right fucking foods because you're investing long-term. The vast majority, 95 plus percent, should be on fucking point. Having a little slice of pizza now and again, once or twice, or a couple times a year or something, is not gonna make a big deal. But people are doing this every week, a couple times a week, and that's why it's leading to all these major issues. That's why I promote the elimination diet. If you wanna find out more about that, you can click the links in the description down below. You can check out my previous videos. I've done a bunch of videos about the best diet, uh, including this one about how to figure out what foods are best for your body, about testing your body, finding these foods that might be uh, inflammatory that might be causing you, giving you allergic reactions or having trouble sleeping, joint pain, discomfort, migraines. This is real because it goes right to the food quality. Food quantity is also a problem. But the way these foods are constructed, the fake foods, they're designed to make you eat more. They're designed to keep you from feeling full and eating and eating and getting addicted so you keep on going and buying more and more. But if you focus more on the quality first, the quantity is going to figure itself out you're gonna have a much better time restricting the quantity if you're eating the right foods. It's much, much, much harder to overeat really healthy foods. And drop in the comments below if you disagree or if you agree. But if you're eating real, whole food, real quality food, you try overeating, it's a lot harder. So managing your caloric intake is far easier if you're eating the right foods first. That's why I promote quality first. Don't start measuring calories and all that shit before you figured out which foods work best for your body, before you address the fact that quality is paramount. This is a big deal, but it's also a very small deal. It's only a big deal, it's only a real complicated challenge if you make it a big complicated challenge. I am telling you fam, 
Fitness and nutrition is very simple. It's commoditized. All the information's out there already. The highest level science is maybe scratching the surface to some cool things with epigenetics and shit. But the foundations, like we understand that we need whole foods. We need real foods. Whether you want to be a vegan, a vegetarian, a pescatarian, keto, paleo, whatever it is, I think we can all agree that we know you should not be eating McDonald's. You should be not, not be eating chips and all this soda and all this stuff that really just sneaks in and pushes you over those uh, caloric limits that gives you these just simple sugars that are just fucking poisoning your body. That we're not really debating about anymore. Yet it's just amazing how many people still consume them because they are addictive, because they're designed in a fucking laboratory. And people don't see this enough behind the scenes. They are designed to get you hooked on them. They're doing it. They are hooking you on these foods. Broccoli doesn't have to hook you on a food. Bacon doesn't have to hook you on it. You know, grass-fed beef doesn't have to get you hooked. Sweet potatoes, they don't try to hook you with sweet potatoes. You eat them, you fuel up, and you get the fuck on with your life and your training and your health. The point of this video is to reiterate to all types of eating, to everyone, anyone watching this. It's that the food quality matters. You need to invest. Every bite, every time you put something in your body is an investment. Are you making the right investments? Are you making good choices? Are you making choices for the right reasons? And how are you going to feel about this in the future if you're not making the right choices now? Are you going for those short-term pleasures, those short-term satisfactions at the expense of your future years? Are you gonna have regrets? You say you won't now, how the fuck do you know? 30 years, 40 years down the road when you have type two diabetes and you have all these issues from eating improperly and maybe not training right, not sleeping well, not taking care of your health, you might look back differently. It's so easy to think about things like, ah, brush it off when things are going great. When things are shitty, you're gonna look back, oh, if I only did this, if I only did that, I'm trying to get you before you get to that point. A little Papa Solio voice like, hey, are you sure you should be eating that? That is something that you should be thinking about now because in the future, it's going to be too late and I don't want that for you. So I hope this video helps. I hope this video helps maybe reset a couple things in your brain when you're thinking about your nutrition, when you're going to the supermarket, when you're going to make those choices. Hopefully this might push you in a different direction of how you think and how you approach your nutrition, how you approach your shopping. And I'll have more content on this. And I have some more on my Gain Train blog on my website. So I'll put all those links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. Please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed for more daily uploads. And make sure if you're not yet subscribed to the Daily Soul podcast that you click the links in the description down below. I'll also put a card up here for the Daily Soul podcast. I go live every single day and it's available everywhere on iPhones, Android, every single podcast app. You could download the Daily Soul podcast and you can also check out my second channel, Daily Swole Podcast, for the daily live streams right here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. It's your boy, Papa Swolio. Oh, 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 oh. Out. Peace.